Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI, and this is a patient who has lateral elbow pain. They're 32 years old. They suspect lateral epicondylitis, and they do have lateral epicondylitis. And so this is a coronal T1-weighted image. We see the humerus up top. Down below, we see the radius, and we see the ulna over here to get oriented. This is the medial side, lateral side. And on the medial side, just look over here, we do see some gray signal right at the common flexor tendon origin. All the muscles, uh, the flexor muscles come together and converge on this common uh, flexor tendon. It attaches right here in the medial epicondyle, and that's too gray. It should be uh, darker and more sharply defined, so it looks like they have some really mild medial epicondylitis. And the lateral side here looks worse. looks enlarged, really gray instead of dark, so they have lateral epicondylitis as well. Now, medial epicondylitis can be really subtle, and, and right here, this is a case of that. There's a little wisp of brightness there, and over the outside, there's some just subtle edema over the periphery. So this is just really mild medial epicondylitis. And over here on the other side, we see fluid right at that common extensor tendon origin. This is the lateral epicondyle. This is this dark band is the convergence of all they come. The, I'm sorry, the extensor muscles come together to form the common extensor tendon. It attaches right here. You can see there's a white band of fluid. So we know this is abnormal, so the question is, what do we call this? So it is uh, anything over here we call lateral epicondylitis, it's kind of a junk term to say that there's inflammation and uh, even partial tearing of the uh, tendon. So we say this is lateral epicondylitis, and the question is, is it completely torn and off? Is, is the epicondylitis and the inflammation got so bad that the tendon is torn and retracted. And we say, well, no, it's not totally torn and retracted. I see some fibers. And the next question is, is it partially torn? If there's a bulk of the fibers are partially torn, then they may need to go and reattach it. But you can also have a little bit of fluid in there just between the fibers. And if there's not much torn, it can go on to heal. They can do dry needling. And so it's a challenge to describe it appropriately so they don't uh, do surgery unnecessarily and they don't give conservative treatment when they really should go in there and try to fix it. And I definitely don't have the answer to that, but this is just what I do, and I imagine everybody struggles in their own way. But uh, this is, again, the common extensor tendon that comes down here. So to get oriented here, we have um, two things. We have on the outer, uh, the superficial fibers here is the common extensor tendon that comes in and attaches. We see that there are some definite fibers there. We see this fluid signal, so we know it's partially torn from the attachment. And then deep to that, there's some dark band here. And the deep um, uh, signal is partially related to the common extensor tendon, deep fibers. And it's also related to the ligament attachments out here. We have the radial collateral ligament and the lateral ulnar collateral ligament. Both of them blend together. They just look like one band. And also those deep fibers and the common extensor tendon all come together. So there's really no way to tell those apart or separate those very well. Uh, but it looks like they are largely intact. But I would say in this case that there is a moderate or maybe moderate to severe lateral epicondylitis with partial thickness intersubstance tearing, but no complete tear. And then they'll have to just uh, figure out based on the clinical symptoms and what they look uh, see if this is something they need to just uh, do conservative therapy or dry needling or if they need to do something more aggressive. I imagine they'll just uh, treat this conservatively, but this is right at the border where there's a significant amount of fluid there, and some of the central fibers are probably torn and retracted back just about four millimeters. And these ligaments, the deep ligaments here, I think those are intact. So this is just one of those bread and butter cases, and it's always a challenge to try to describe it correctly. Um, and that's it. So thank you.